Hey guys, we are going to take our unit three test. You guys have done such a great job doing this unit. We want to see what you know. Now here's the really important part, especially if you're doing remote learning. We want you to make sure you are doing this all by yourself. Don't look to your adults for help. Don't look for your friends, your siblings. Don't ask people for help. Do the best you can all on your own. You guys can do this. You got this. You're going to repeat me. We're going to tap. We're going to do all the things we've been doing. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we are going to start with sounds. The first sound, I'm going to say it. You're going to repeat it. If you are using the book, you are going to write the sounds where it says sounds. If you're using the link, that I put in the um, slides, you have the same exact paper and I made it so you could type on it. So the first thing we're gonna do is sound number one. So the first thing I want you to do is repeat after me. Remember to do this on your own. The first sound is shh. What sound? Shh. Go ahead and write it and then give your teacher a thumbs up. Sound number two is the all the ways you know to write k. What sound? K. Go ahead and write it, then give your teacher a thumbs up. Sound number three is i. What sound? I. Go ahead and write it, and then give your teacher a thumbs up. Sound number four is uh. What sound? Uh. Go ahead and write it, and then give your teacher a thumbs up. And the last sound we're gonna do is ch. What sound? Go ahead and write it, and then give your teacher a thumbs up. Now we're on to words, okay? Where it says words. We have five words. They're numbered for you. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to, I'm going to say it. You're going to repeat it. You're going to tap it. You're going to write it. You're going to underline the digraph, and then give your teacher a thumbs up. Okay, the first word is chat. What word? Chat. Let's tap it. Ch at chat. Write it. Underline the digraph. Then give your teacher a thumbs up. Word number two is the word dash. What word? Dash. Let's tap it. D. A. Sh. Write it. Underline the digraph. Then give your teacher a thumbs up. Word number three is math. Math. Let's tap it. M. Mm. A. Write it. Underline the digraph, give your teacher a thumbs up. Word number four is chop. What word? Chop. Let's go ahead and tap it. Chop. Chop. Write it and then underline the digraph. And word number five is neck. What word? Neck. Tap it. N. E. K. Go ahead and write it and underline the digraph. Give your teacher a thumbs up when you're done. Now we're going to move on to some sentences. I'm going to show you the set 
sentence frames. If you're using the book, you're writing it on the other page, page 81. If you're typing it because you're using the link, it's on the second half of the screen and you're going to type it. I am going to say the sentences. I'm gonna put the sentence frames up. Then I'm gonna say it again and have you repeat me. I am gonna circle the um, trick words for you. So here's the first sentence. We got into a hot bath. Okay. We got into a hot bath. My trick words are we into and a. So I'm going to say it again and I want you to repeat it. We got into a hot bath. Go ahead and repeat that. We got into a hot bath. Remember guys, you are allowed to use your notebook to find your trick words if you don't know what they are, okay? I'm gonna say it one more time. We got into a hot bath. Repeat me one last time. We got into a hot bath. After you're done writing the sentence, you're gonna scoop it and then give your teacher a thumbs up. Okay. Our second sentence, I do that every time. Our second sentence is, did Jack rush to get the bus. Did Jack rush to get the bus? And there's my punctuation. I'm gonna go ahead and circle my trick words, which are the and Two. I'm going to say it again and have you repeat me. Did Jack rush to get the bus? Did Jack rush to get the bus? Let's say it one last time. Did Jack rush to get the bus? Did Jack rush to get the bus? After you're done writing it, don't forget to scoop it and then give your teacher a thumbs up. Remember again, you can use your notebook for the trick words if you need to. Remember, do this all on your own. 